and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number four here in sunny Florida. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here. I've been busy, busy, busy getting ready for poor con in a couple of weeks and uh, it's a lot of stuff and I'm okay with that because I like being busy but I haven't had a chance to do much me painting and uh, I saw a, a, a photograph, a beautiful photograph of an orangey, goldy, yellow sunset. And then all you could see below it was the silhouette of the earth or the ground and some bushes and uh, a kind of cool tree, a tree that I just recently planted in our backyard. It's called a, uh, what the heck's it called? A shady lady. And it almost has kind of a bonsai look to it. So that inspired me. So that's what I'm going to do today. Now, um, colors are yummy, but after I introduce my colors, I'm going to tape off the bottom part of the canvas, which will represent the earth, which is going to be done in a dark, dark chocolate. And then um, I'll brush paint the trees and the shrubs. But um, I'm going to wait till the sky dries. So this is kind of a couple of day uh, project for me and uh, I'm okay with that. So let's talk about our colors, our base coat color. I put down a very, very thin base coat. It almost acts as just a uh, slick surface for my pore colors to uh, travel across. And it's from a slop bucket. It's just a bunch of coppers and rusts and just, I thought, a pretty color and we can most certainly use it up. You're probably not going to see much of it and uh, I'd rather use it than lose it. Uh, right here, oh, my liquid copper. That is this little piggy and that is their Zeus. Right next to that Zeus is this little piggy, my new favorite in the mango, but I needed to tone that orange down just a little bit and I added to it Amsterdam Expert um, Acrylics in the transparent orange. And that is also right here in this cup all by its lonesome. Right here in this cup is Amsterdam in the burnt umber. And I wanted to redden that up a little bit and I added to it golden fluids in the burnt sienna. And our final color right here. Oh, I love this paint. Golden fluids, the keyword in the nickel azo gold. Now all our paints are mixed the same with the exception of our two piggies. I put uh, the pigment in the cup. I doused it with uh, about equal parts of the Josanya gloss varnish. I stir that up really good. It turns into a very nice paste. And then I give it a squirt of GAC 800, stir that up real good and slowly start to add a little bit of my pouring medium, which is 50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium. The three um, acrylic paints got uh, the paint in the bottom of the cup, a big squirt of GAC 800, stir that up real good, add my pouring medium to that, stir that up real good, and then check the consistency. Only one of these paints needed water, and that is this paint. Um, oh, excuse me, these two paints, both these uh, Amsterdam paints, the transparent orange, and the burnt umber are thicker two paints and I needed to add uh, water to get them down to the consistency of the rest of my paints. Let's take a look at that consistency. It leaves very little trace when the paint rolls off the popsicle stick into the paint below. So I'm gonna tape off the bottom portion of this canvas, you know. I've been reading about art and fine artists and and things that you need to do. And they say that you should paint in threes, three sections. And this is gonna be kind of a three section painting. We're gonna have the sky as the top section, the earth as the bottom section, and the tree and the bushes as the third section. So I lay in bed at night and I watch fine artists and I, I Google, how do I paint my grass? How do I paint my tree? How do I paint my mountains? And I just kind of, uh, watch um, other artists do it. And that's how I learn. I also learn by doing. 
I learn from my mistakes. I learn from my successes. And uh, it's one of the things I love about um, doing this. <laughs> Let's put some tunes on, guys. I want to paint. <laughs> Let's get busy.
if I wanted to Need to cherish every moment left with you Your breath on my chest 